like everyone else. You want to learn the way to win, but never to accept the way to lose. To accept defeat, to learn to die is to be liberated from it. So when tomorrow comes, you must free your ambitious mind and learn the art of dying. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Sean Fit back with another one. Um, we looking at the monster, man, the Matrix in the, in the flesh, man. Um, Vasil Lomachenko, one-handed sparring session. He giving a boxing clinic with one hand to a sparring partner. It's amazing to watch him work. If you love boxing, man, you should see this as, 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 as the sweet science. It is definitely a science. It's like math in the ring, man. <clears throat> Vasil Lomachenko shows you how useful your jab hand is and how often it should be and could be used, man. The feet and the jab should be one. It's very important to, to, to utilize both if you're playing on boxing, man, if you're a boxer. As you can see, man, um, Vasil understands the sweet science inside and out. He uses his opponent. He treats his opponent like a bull in a matador. He baits him in. Gives him a certain look and then switches off last minute. He throws a double jab, moves at an angle, head movement. And, and the other guy doesn't really have rhythm. He's just kind of pouncing in there, sh throwing shots. He don't really understand positioning like Vasil Lomachenko does. He doesn't understand how to use his opponent's momentum against him like Vasil Lomachenko does. Vasil, he uses your momentum as you're leaping in to hit you with a jab, stop you in your tracks, or he'll let you come in and he'll move last minute. And it kind of that type of that type of activity discourages you. It, it makes you think like, dang, what am I doing? It makes you use unnecessary energy, man. It's brilliant work. Make sure you guys um, try this in your sparring sessions. Even on a heavy bag, you can try this. Just moving around, step around. If you got a bag that kind of has some that's not close to the ground, you can swing it and and, and um, time it as it's coming in. That's another um, thing that he's he's doing with the jab. He's timing them so perfectly. If you notice, man, the way Lomachenko position, sets up his shots, he's always balanced. He's shooting a double jab off, not just one jab. You'll see Adrian Broner kind of shoot off one jab. You know what I'm saying? Go back into his deep sense from stance. But Mikey Garcia, when he was fighting, he was shooting a double jab like Lomachenko is now. Lomachenko is always balanced and shooting a double jab off the back foot into the hips and through the jab hand. <clears throat> it's beautiful work, man. It's just beautiful. Even against the ropes. Some people, when they get against the ropes, they're very vulnerable. Vasil used the, used the ropes as momentum to get off. He don't just move at the waist. He moves for defense. He moves the entire body as one unit, man. Uses the rear hand as a distractor and a block of parry punches. But the main work is done with the jab and the feet, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all watched and learned something from it. Repeat this video, play it back, take it into your training camp, practice movement, practice your jab, practice popping that jab endlessly, man. Use it to your advantage, man. Opponents, opponents who don't work like this, they're limiting their game. All right, man, it's been great. Um, stay tuned, make sure y'all subscribe, like, uh, show some love in the comment section, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I'm out. Hey guys, thanks for watching my videos. If you want to support my channel and earn a little cash for doing so, please download the app located in the description box. You'll get $5 right away in cash back every time you shop at the selected stores below. Don't hesitate. Earn some money. Thanks for the support. Peace out.